What a first day of MLB The Show 24. We went flawless three times. This, these games are all streamed live on Switch. So make sure you guys are following them. The links are in the bio. And make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel on YouTube. Some of these games are going to be voiced over by me. And some of them are going to... I'm going to let Natural Zazie talk. Because I had some funny moments in there. Some, some real emotions. So make sure you guys... Stay tuned. This will be a quick video. We also have a huge diamond pull that I can't wait to show you guys in the middle of the video. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So into the first game here, you can see our opponent. We're starting off at 6-0 in this run. Uh, this is our first run, our first Battle Royale run of the year. You can see we're brought to uh, uh, Blue River. You can see we take a 5-0 lead. Jorge Soler, probably one of the best BR cards I've maybe ever used so far. And the man's out of there. So that puts us at 7-0. We are going into our next game here. You can see our next opponent's team. It's going to be pretty quick. Um, I'm going to put mostly just highlights quickly. And you can see in this game, this is one of those games that actually seems to get away from us a little bit. Um, you can see the score is 3 nothing, But as you can see, I, I've, I've sped this up for, for our safety. It was 3 nothing coming into the second inning. And uh, you're going to see how this inning unfolds. This, is, this was actually a really good player that I played. But I just got hot. And when you get hot in this game, in MLB 24, everything feels so smooth. And everything just feels right. And you can see the way I'm hitting. I'm not missing baseballs. I mean, how many baseballs are just being smoked, 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 smoked all the time, dude? And, like, when you get hot, especially in what I've noticed in 24, when it's so smooth, everything just clicks. Every, you, you don't feel out of put. I'm going to let Zaza here speak for this last clip, and then we're on to the next game. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ian Happ, I mean, dude, we have turned on the Zen, folks. The Zen is on. Zen Z28 is here. Now, this is our 10-0 game, and this is against Zach Watts, a top player. So, I'm going to let Zazie take over here for the rest of this one. J.D. Davis, let's go. There's one. George Brett, let's go. Back to back. Solaire, there we go. 504 for Jorge Solaire. Our first 500-foot home run of the year. Jesus. Lou Bob, let's go, baby. Into the night sky. Jason? Our first 10-0, baby. Let's fucking go, chat. Come on. As I'm doing the AL, I'm going to hold on to Yordan. We're going to list Harper at... So as you guys saw, we got our first 12... Or sorry, 10-0. Newly to, to BR changes this year. And, you know, that was just the start of it, man. This was genuinely one of the most amazing performances I've put on. And especially at the start of the year, it is such a perfect time to do it. You can see we're getting quits left and right. Uh, this is this is now flawless run number two. Like I said, I'm spoiling it a little bit, but it's true. We just played so incredibly well. And something that I noticed um, a lot is that because of the new pinpoint change to sinkers, people were really sc uh, scared to throw sinkers. And that's one of the most valuable pitches typically. So I was able, when I was hitting a lot, to just completely disregard the sinker as a whole. And when you can do that, I mean, it is so incredibly valuable because a sinker, once again, is that is that muddy pitch. That's like, in past years, we've seen... You know, when you fall behind 2-1, 2-0, it doesn't matter the count. You could throw a sinker, and you knew you had a chance to get an out. Where when people aren't throwing it, they typically rely on the cutter. So any sinker count, I started to look for a cutter. And uh, that helped my approach a lot, and really simplified everything for me, because I could tell when I fell behind, or when my opponents fell behind in counts, all they did was try, and they were like, man, I, I need to throw, here's another, you know, here's another cutter. So this was something that, you know, was something that you need to pick up early. And that's what I talk about a lot with patterns as well. When I talk about uh, in my hitting tips video, we'll also have that coming out at some point during this week as well. Um, I wanted to get these games out first, but, um, you know, just picking up those patterns and realizing what your opponent does and doesn't go to is, is extremely important, man. You can see some of the teams that I'm facing. I mean, a lot of people have really good lineups. They weren't as focused on pitching. They were really focused on lineup heavy. So uh, if we take a look at this game, man, this was this was a really tough game. Um, and I'm going to let Zazi take over in about a minute or so. Um, you can see back-to-back -back home runs. This was not a very important game because this was our 10-0 for our second flawless. So, um, you can see we started to hit the ball, but in comes Felix Batista, my closer. And, you know, you have faith in him. And he looks pretty good until we give up a leadoff hit and you start to get a little nervous. So, you can see with Tony Clark, another card I just couldn't get out. Um, man, it was tough to pitch with this new pinpoint stuff. But, uh, let's hand it over to Zazi here and see what he has to say. Two ball, Adamas, back to back, flawlesses, chat, let's fucking go. You heard the man, that is back to back flawlesses to start the year, and, you know, I, I knew I wasn't done, I, I really did, I knew I wasn't done, I was hitting the ball so incredibly well, I was seeing the ball, like, I the best I've ever seen the ball, probably, I mean, 
it looks so fat to me. I was so dialed in. Um, I slept before release day, and I think this helped me so much because I wasn't tired like everybody else I was playing. When I was playing from, you know, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever, all these people who are tired been up for hours, man. And and here's me who, who's, you know, who got up at 5 to get on, and, and you know, I was well-rested, and I was ready to go. So uh, let's take a listen to Zazi again here, and uh, this is how we ended this game. Pretty powerfully, if you ask me. Oh! The lucky pair? What do we got? What is this? I don't know what this means. Mookie! Let's fucking go! So smack dab in the middle of us making subs through BR. Not only are we making a crap ton of subs anyways, but now we've pulled Mookie bets. And, uh... Yeah, man, I was super excited. I didn't get anything out of my pre-order packs. I was about 80 packs deep and had only pulled Aussie Albies. And that Mookie pull, pull, I was literally dead middle of eating because it was midday and I was tired and I was ready to end stream. But I was like, we got to keep going with this run. So uh, you can see under this run, this was another great opponent. Uh, this was a phenomenal game. And uh, you can see David Ortiz like going lefty, lefty. You know, like that was a swing I didn't see taken much. Um, but man, this JD Davis and Jorge Soler combo in my lineup was absolutely disgusting. I've... These are two of my favorite cards already, and, and you know, it's day one. I, I, I can't say how many times they saved That's my baby. runs. End this game, baby. Let's go. That puts us at 8 no. Chat, let's see where our 10 win is. Hopefully, it's Trout. So, on the forefront of Trout, uh, it was Jose Altuve. One of the worst ones. Goes for about 10K. Uh, but, man, another good game, man. I can't wait for you guys to hear more on this and, and our excitement for the last games. Oh, my God. Tay Oscar to outer space. Be loud, GG's, baby. Let's go. Green light 3 0. We're not in 0. Come on. One more. It's not great. He's got Lucas Giolito going. All right. I'm honestly probably just going to make a YouTube video out of the fact that I maybe go, you know, get flawless three times. It's a Giolito. And there's J Roll. All right, we got one. Check swing when you don't want to, and vice versa. Mitch Hand, one run game. It's ballsy. Yep, why do you leave uh, Giolito in this game? And he is out of there. 10-0, we go flawless three times. We are undefeated. What, I mean, what a run today, dude. What a fucking run today. Make sure you guys are following the Twitch. This is where all the games went down today. We were live for almost uh, nine hours. We had over 200 people in here almost constantly. So make sure you guys are following on Twitch. Make sure you guys are subbed on YouTube. And I'm out. Peace.